I'm talking with Professor Valery Tuchin, a world famous expert in uh, biomedical optics and biophotonics. Valery, uh, you are famous for your books, for your many numerous publications in this field, and also for participating in enormous amount of conferences and also in organizing conferences. So you are a member of the International Advisory Committee of the International Conference on Laser Applications in Life Sciences, which is often referred to as LALS. So the next LALS conference will be held in Finland on the premises of the University of Oulu in uh, June 2010. So uh, you have participated in most of the previous conferences. So what are your impressions about the LALS conferences? So um, thank you very much, Sasha, for so high evaluation of my input <laughs> in the biomedical optics or in LALS conference. And uh, in, indeed, this is a great pleasure for me and honor to be one of the uh, uh, one of the first uh, um, members or attendees of this conference. And uh, indeed, the new place, uh, University of Oulu, uh, and uh, Oulu, uh, this is a very, very good uh, town. And I have been there, there uh, a few times and enjoy my staying there. And this university, which will, uh, uh, which will course, uh, host this uh, conference, is very, very uh, good university and uh, with uh, many, many uh, uh, achievements in the biomedical fields, in life science, and so on. So, uh, about the history a little bit. Uh, uh, I was. Uh, uh, this is was. Uh, uh, this was uh, my first conference, uh, abroad conference. <laughs> so uh, it was uh, when uh, uh, Sergey Alexandrovich Akhmanov invited me as a scientist from the periphery university, <laughs> from Saratov University. Oh, now it's a worldwide yeah. known center of yeah, biomedical. Yeah, yeah. But uh, this is. Uh, it was a really, really starting point. <coughs> for the biomedical science in Saratov State University. And that was in 1986. Yeah, it was in 1986. And uh, uh, indeed, I uh, uh, enjoyed it very much. In Prague. In Prague. It, was, it, it was held in Prague, yeah, it was Czechoslovakia. Yeah, yeah. It, it was in Prague, uh, in Czechoslovakia. I enjoyed the conference itself, Prague itself, and uh, uh, it was a uh, very, very, very good experience to have some relations or establish some relations with the uh, foreign scientists. Uh, never any foreigner <laughs> I saw <laughs> previously <laughs> in Saratov. Uh, so it was very impressive from the scientific point of view and from the um, cultural culture point of view as well. So uh, the uh, so this conference was very very important for me personally, and uh, we still have very very good uh, relations, scientific relations, and uh, some uh, human relations uh, with the uh, people who were uh, uh, who were there as the lecturers. Uh, two examples only. Uh, this is Jan Hrevi. Uh He was there with the big team. And I was alone from Saratov. Uh, nevertheless, we uh, established for many years up till now uh, uh, very good um, uh, exchange program, which With are University of Twenty in the University Netherlands. of Twenty and uh, Saratov State University. A few people from my group, maybe three, four, uh, have been there, and uh, we still have some. Uh, uh, common research work. Uh, uh, now, uh, not with uh, Jan uh, personally, but with his uh, former, uh, more younger uh, collaborators. So the second example is the 
uh, uh, university, Kwansei Gukuin University uh, in Japan, and uh, I met there uh, Ichiro. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, no, 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 no. Sorry, I'm, I'm mistaken. Uh, Professor Azaki. Uh, Professor Azaki uh, and uh, uh, Yuki Azaki. And uh, now he's a dean of uh, faculty uh, there in Kwansei Gokuin University in Japan. And up till now, we are writing together books. We are have a uh, lecturing uh, uh, at uh, a few times. I lecturing there in, in his university, and he also sending papers to. Uh, my university and attended conferences in Saratov and so on so on. So this is two examples and we have more indeed examples of the uh, uh, very important, uh, important uh, uh, very important um, collaboration. collaboration which is uh, valid which yeah. is uh, living up till now. So still more collaborations developed during further conferences, yeah, yeah indeed, you have yes. attended yeah. most of them. Yeah, I yeah. probably miss only one in uh, in Vilnius. In Vilnius, yeah. and all others. Uh, two thousand, the year of two thousand, yeah, 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 yeah. two thousand two. So uh, I like very much uh, this idea, and uh, uh, my understanding is that after that, many other conferences, which uh, conferences which are organized by the uh, uh, the major involvement of the Russian uh, scientists. Uh, this is a good idea to to have a conference around the former Soviet Union. <laughs> now, <laughs> Soviet Union, and now we have Russia, not Soviet Union, but still we're traveling a little bit uh, the same circle around yeah. the, uh, Russia, and once in Russia, then uh, in some country outside Russia. Yeah. Not far, not in USA, yeah. but uh, it was well, once. We have, uh, it we have once, plans. Uh, yeah, yeah, we have yeah, plans, yeah, yeah, but not now. Yeah. Next time. Okay, so what do you expect from the conference in uh, Oulu next year? Uh, what, next do, what are the hot topics, do you think, to uh, be discussed? The hot topics, um, uh, because uh, I was asked to you know, find good uh, um, uh, contributors to the uh, session t uh, um, uh, laser tissue interaction, so it's uh, my field, and I believe that now uh, we uh, have to be more uh, closer to the uh, some practical applications indeed on the good uh, 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 fundamental physics and biophysics uh, um, ba basis uh, and uh, to move to the application of the laser light to the uh, treatment uh, using for na na nanoparticle uh, technologies using the uh, gold nanoparticles as the mediators of the uh, heating, uh, controllable heating of the tissues, and uh, uh, any uh, because this is a very complex uh, uh, task, and therefore we have to know many, many uh, how light propagates within the tissue, how it interacts with the tissue itself and with the nanoparticles, and it's not. This is open questions now. It maybe looks like a very simple one. But uh, nevertheless, uh, how the uh, nanoparticles diffuse inside the tissue? Uh, is it, uh, they diffuse through intact skin, for example, or uh, uh, any other? And is it safety? And what about macrophages uh, eating uh, of these particles or something else? Many, many uh, But light and uh, tissue and particles. I believe this is a, a good point to discuss. So you think this will this one, one conference will be very successful? Yeah, yeah, I believe yes. It will. It should be. It should be. <laughs> okay. Should thank be. you very much. Yeah, thank, you. thank you. Bye.